Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, friends. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a while. Like, wow, I've missed you. I really have. And if you're new to this channel, hi. I'm Esther and welcome to the Loxy Files. Um, I'm excited to have you here. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button before we go any further. If you are a subscriber, I am so grateful that you are here. Great. <laughs> grateful that you are here anyways let's jump straight into the video so like you guys know me well enough to know that i start every video with oh my gosh guys it's been so long ah. i'm gonna go do that today because we know for a fact that it has been a minute since i've done a sit down video i did try to do something a little different um a bit of a spoken word video if you saw my last video uh just because i felt like uh the devil was attacking me personally i was just like yeah nah so i was like let me take up the, the authority that i've been given in christ and fight and i shared it because i wanted you guys to know that you also have the authority to to bind and to loose to cast and to chase the devil away like he's under your feet and no matter what you're facing, no matter what um, attacks come your way, you have already overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes. Amen. But for today's video, we are going to be talking about hope. Yes, hope is one of my favorite topics to talk about because uh, it has been one of the biggest struggles in my life um, and in my journey of faith, hoping and believing Trust in God, you know? Um, <clears throat> so hope, in a biblical sense, you would think, okay, in a normal sense, you just think hope is some wishy-washy feeling type of thing. Like, oh, I hope this happens. I hope that happens. I hope blah, 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 whatever. Um, but actually, if you think of it in a biblical sense, hope is confident expectation of what God has promised and its strength is in his faithfulness. Did you get that? Let me, let me repeat this just in case you didn't get it. Hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised and its strength is in his faithfulness. So in other words, you can say that hope is certainty that God's promises are true and will happen because he is faithful. Um, and these are words that I wrote in a post that I wrote, I wrote in a post on my blog. If you don't follow my blog, the link is in the description. You might find some nuggets there that may, you know, help you in your journey of faith. Be sure to check it out. Um, but I wrote it in a post in 2018, at the end of 2018. Um, and I was talking about Proverbs 13 verse 12, which says hope deferred makes the heart sick and a promise fulfilled or a desire fulfilled is the tree of life. And that is a scripture that generally describes a lot of seasons in my life where um, I've experienced things where I'm like, I know God's promises in my life, or I have a certain dream or a desire and I've placed it before God. And then the hope is deferred. It's like the promise is the door is closed in front of my face and I've felt heart sick. That's what I like calling it heart sickness um, because I've lost, I had lost all hope. And I feel like everybody, not everybody, but most people are in that season right now where they have lost hope. Their hope has been deferred. And because their hope is deferred, their hearts are in a place of sickness. So many people are dealing with anxiety, with depression, with um, suicidal thoughts and just loneliness and hurt and just uncertainty of the future and fears and there's just so much happening in the heads and in the hearts of people and I can boldly say that because I, I've spoken to people um, and I've also I also have those days a lot of them especially as of late like I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety been having some panic attacks um, having social anxiety when I'm out also the whole thing of like feeling lonely when you're in a room full of people and not that I'm always in a room full of people. I spend 99% of my time here in this flat alone. Um, but yeah, I also have days when I just don't want to get out of bed. And it's, 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 it's been uh, quite a journey of like trying to maintain mental health and trying to keep a positive attitude and keep hope alive in the midst of this dark and so there's a lot that I could say when it comes to hope, because hope is one of those things, like it's very near and dear to my heart. Like you have no idea, but my understanding of 
this whole situation of hope and being heartsick is that when you lose your confidence in God's promises, that's when you become heartsick. When you lose your confidence in the fact that God is faithful, when you lose your confidence and your trust in who God is, that's when things just fall apart. And I'm saying that from a testimony of my own life. Over the last couple of months, like I told you, I've been battling my own <laughs> mental battles and every and my own emotional battles. But one thing that started happening was I started questioning the character of God. I started asking God, how can you allow these certain things to be happening in my life when you say you're so good, when you say you're so faithful, when you say you're so kind and loving, and I know you're just and you're righteous and everything and holy, but why is this happening to me if you care about me so much, if you love me so much? Like, then who are you? Are you not contradicting who you say you are? And when I realized that I was at a point where I was questioning who God was, an unchanging God, that's important that I must say that. The fact that I was questioning a God who never changes showed me a lot. And I realized that the problem is within me and I need to fix something. And I'm not saying that you need to fix something. I'm just talking from my experience. Please don't take it personally. I'm just talking from my experience. Um, and so I started speaking the promises of God until I started believing them for myself. I started telling myself that God will provide for all of my needs according to his riches and glory. I started telling myself that I am the head and not the tail, that I'm above and not beneath. I started telling myself that he anoints my head with oil and my cup runneth over. I started telling him that surely I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I started telling myself that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I started telling myself every single promise that I've read in the Bible. And I started reminding myself of the promises that he made to me personally about my future, about the plans that he has for me. And that's another thing that's very important. You need to have your own relationship with God, that you are able to hear his voice, that you're able to hear what his heart for your personal life is, what his plan and his purpose for you is here on this earth. But that is another video on its own. Um, but yes, my point is I took the time to actually remind myself of God's promises and telling myself those promises over and over and over again until I found confidence in them again. And I feel like that is a thing that a lot of us are going to have to do. It's something that I encourage you to do because storms are going to happen and it sucks. I, I know it sucks. It sucks that you have to be in this situation. It sucks that you're going through so much pain and so much hurt and so much uncertainty. And I am so sorry that that is your story right now. I'm so sorry that that is the situation that you're in right now. But one thing I do know is that God is faithful and God is good and he never changes and he still loves you. His love for you has not changed and his plans for you have not changed and when you find confidence in that when you hope in that that his plans for you have not changed that his love for you has not changed that his faithfulness towards you has not changed that his mercies towards you have not changed and his goodness is still good <laughs> um, when that has not changed when you find confidence in that you will be able to endure whatever situations whatever storms whatever fires whatever valleys he may be walking you through or allowing you to walk through and yeah like i could go to town and back about this topic because i really love talking about this and really love um encouraging people with this word but hope is something that can really make or break you at times and i'm just praying that each of you is going to find hope um, in this season that you're going to find hope again that um, the word of god says those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will mount up on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and they will not faint um, so i hope like that is the i hope <laughs> i hope that that is the place that you will get to that even when you face the storms of life even when you face fire and tribulation and t and temptation and and pain and heartache and depression and anxiety and whatever it is you're going through that you will still be able to hope in the promises that god has for you that you'll be able to endure and know that in that endurance is going to produce character in you and that character is just going to lead you closer to being the image of christ which is the ultimate goal at the end of the day that we may be like him 
um so yeah that is my encouragement to you guys i truly do hope and pray that whatever season you are going through that christ will walk you through it that his spirit will lead you and guide you that he will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding that he will give you an unexplainable joy and that you will be well in this season that your heart will not be sick but your heart will be filled with nothing but the love of god with nothing but hope that his promises will be fulfilled in the mighty name of jesus you guys i love you so much thank you for tuning into this video remember to keep hope alive remember to share this video if you think anybody needs to hear this message and also just take good care of yourselves like I know some days it's, it's, it's rough, it's rough, but remember to take good care of yourself. If you're going through difficulties, reach out to somebody, talk to somebody and yeah, let, let people help you. Um, you don't have to go through things alone. Um, if you ever want to talk to me, you can drop me an email. You can DM me on Instagram. If you have my number, you can WhatsApp me and we can talk. Um, yeah, let's let's or if you want to just have if you have a prayer request and you want to put it in the comments, put it in the comments. I will pray for you. Um, hopefully the other subscribers will also pray for you. And yeah, I'm trying to grow a community of people here. So, yeah, let's learn to love one another, take care of one another. And I love you guys so much. Uh, take good care of yourself and God bless.